Hi guys, welcome to ELT TV and Every Little Thing Birth and Beyond 360 magazine and to my column, The Busy Mum. I'm Louise McKenzie, I have one of my children today. Well, I have two, obviously one at a time. Here's Serafina. Say hi, Serafina. Hi. She wanted to be on it today. And here I am discussing what I've been doing with the pregnancy in terms of exercise and diet. So we're at five and a half months and I'm bringing you up to speed from the last time. Okay, so I'm doing quite well. <laughs> I found that keeping up the exercise has really helped me keep my energy up, kept me focused, kept me very balanced. And best of all, when I had morning sickness, I found it really, really helped. So this is what I've been doing. I've been trying to work out five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven if I do maybe 12 minutes. Obviously I do a lot of sitting with a magazine, so I'll get a pain in my back. So I'll pull out 12 minutes, crazy times like when I'm hungry and we've got the food on, I'll just do 12 minutes. But I have a routine that I do with all my family. I do... I, uh, this is, I'm not saying that you should do this, okay, but you guys have all been asking me what I'm doing, so here we go. I do the GSP Rush Fix. The ones I've been doing are the Full Body Strength and Conditioning with the Hindus, my kids love, not five minutes up and down craziness. The Explosive Power Training, and I also do one more weight training, and I alternate that during the week. On one other day of the week, on a Monday, I do Jackie's Power Circuit, heavy weights. I've kept my weight no lower than 15, so I'm still doing well. And for three days of the week, I also do Insanity. Now, I don't do the first bunch the first month. I do the second, the max training, because you're talking about getting between 50 to 60 minutes of really good cardio interval training in. I've managed to keep up with everything and surpass it. A few things I've been gauging, like I've been using a kettlebell when there's ultra tummy work. I found it about about four months and three quarters, I could feel like the tummy, I needed to start changing it up a bit and doing something else. So I incorporated the kettlebells. If you know me and you're going to ask me, am I doing my own training? I have not, because you know I do my one minute on. 15 seconds break. I haven't done that, not because I don't enjoy it and I'm not fit enough to still keep doing it, but I found because I exercise with all of my family and I have the little ones here like Serafina and I have my little two year old, they like to get involved and what have you and to keep everyone going this heavily pregnant and yeah come on let's do it. I decided just to keep it straight and use the DVDs as a as a way of just keeping things together, making it easy for me. So I've managed to, I'm feeling phenomenal, I'm feeling really strong, and I know that you guys can do it, even if it's going for a brisk walk, doing a few weights, I know you can do it, it'll really, really help your health. In terms of diet, the only thing I've really, really craved, other than a chipotle here or there, <laughs> is uh, cherries. So um, diet I've kept really, you know, still really good. And the one thing I avoid, like the plague, because it makes me really, really sick, sugar. We do not touch sugar here only once a week. I found when I had morning sickness and I ate sugar, it made me worse. And it's just an inflammation. It's just horrible. So that's my advice to you. Keep it up. I'm five and a half months pregnant and I can still kick butt. And I know that you guys can. And anyone who's not pregnant, if I can do it right now, then so can you. So keep it up, keep on message, and I will see you in a month's time, tell you how I'm getting on. See if I can still do everything I'm doing now. So over to you guys, see you next time. Keep up the exercise, and Sarah, if you want to say bye too. Bye. bye.